Check, check, hello, can you read me? Buck Thunder, Buck, Buck, oh, it's me, Bill, your divorce attorney. Welcome to Buck Thunder 2, Zeno Slaughter. Another Buck Thunder game. Your ex-wife is back and more evil than ever. She's sending a bunch of her new blood-sucking boyfriends out. So go shoot them, just kill them all, Buck, that's, that's the game. Buck, it's me, Phil, your divorce lawyer again. You remember how to move and jump and everything, right? There's shit on the screen that tells you how to do all that stuff. I mean, come on, Buck, this is the second game. You know how to do... All right, Buck, you're gonna have to use the brand new double jump to get over there. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, Buck. I forgot there's no double jump, just crouch. We gotta try crouching, Buck. Fucking scheduling and scoping bullshit. A fucking crouch prioritized over a double jump. Who is this? Who, do, who, who are these people above us? All right, that's a good crouch, Buck. That's a good crouch. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Fucking scoping and scheduling bullshit. Fuck. Stay sharp, Buck. A bunch of your ex-wife's new alien boyfriends. There they are. Come right at you. Just shoot them, Buck. You remember how to shoot them. That's what I'm talking about, Buck. Kill those fuckers. You're the man. I love you, Buck. You're so fucking cool. Oh, I'm so excited and lit up to be your divorce attorney. You have no idea. You're my favorite client. All right, Buck. Just open that door. It's so fucking easy. Just press the right button. This is just the tutorial part. It's... Oh, my God, Buck. You did it. You opened the door. You're a fucking genius. You are my favorite client. It's me, by the way. Your divorce attorney. Don't forget. I'm still your divorce attorney. Let's go. Let's get moving. Let's defeat your ex-wife. say goodbye to mom and dad before they left for their trip you know they were pissed right whatever we got the place to ourselves now oh my god don't give me that look narc what are you mad that i'm throwing this party tonight 
It's fine. Mom and Dad are gone for a whole fucking week. We can do whatever we want. Here, come on, try some. <laughs> you know it's good for your depression, right? Okay, we're totally gonna rage tonight. I cannot wait. I gotta text Jen and make sure she brings the good shit. Uh, did you know she almost got a DUI? Don't tell anyone. That is a secret, but everyone already knows. <laughs> it's really fucked up. Her parents took away her car, which sucks because we could fit two kegs in her trunk. Whoa, 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 it's kicking in. Uh, what is wrong with your face? Like I was saying, and whatever, I think Oliver's boyfriend has it covered, which, by the way, they are really not right for each other. Skylar saw them fighting in the Circle K last week, which I wish I was there, because I love watching people fight, but they don't know that. I mean, they do know, but we're acting like they don't know, but honestly, it's really obvious just from, ugh, finally, there you are. I felt like I was losing my mind. So, do you want any, or nah? Fine, more for me then. All right, I'm gonna go get ready for the party. This stuff's gonna last me all week. It is powerful. Mom told me I was in charge. She did it in secret so it wouldn't hurt your feelings and dad said that he flat out doesn't love you. It was actually pretty messed up. By the way, mom left you a note on the fridge. Go read it. Then come meet me outside. I need your help grabbing party shit from the store. You come in or what? Come on, I don't want to carry it all myself. Did you hear me? Let's go to the store. So, I guess... Holy shit! Oh, what the fuck? Get down and stay quiet. I knew aliens were real. Hey, 
Shan Awala Ha Shita Hit Gawan Hala Wa Wan Wa Do you understand what they're saying? Oh shit, look, it's Mr. Pilfrey. He's got that um what's it called? Uh dementia. Oh, what's going on out here? Martha? Is that you? Oh my god! Oh my god! What did they just do to Mr. Pilfrey? <laughs> Hola, mi amato. It's a What the fuck is going on? Cho, machiza, wana ho. No man de tanda, ula va diwa na kanga ma. So, no ma de talu si. Hastata ba wa. Isa, wote kwa wuhan. So much better, thank you. Yeah, sorry about the spit. I I, I needed to get you infected with the translator microbes. That, that, that's sort of how it works. I guess you guys don't have those here yet. Listen, my name's Kenny. I'm a Gatlian. Uh, we we gotta kind of we gotta move. What is it? Is it talking to you? Maybe we should go back to the Ignore house. Ignore her. It's very important that you listen to everything I say. Okay, it is your lucky day right now. We can survive this together if you just listen to me. These three guys are gonna turn your whole species into drugs. Can you handle a gun? Because, you know, I'm kind of a gun, and if you don't use me to kill those G3 grunts, you, you know, they're gonna fucking kill us! Do you really not know what button to press? You just keep hitting buttons, triggers, all of them. One of them's gonna make me shoot. Try pressing anything, go nuts, mash them all. Is this your first fucking game? Just press it. Fuck yeah, there we go. Uh, you go on ahead. I I'm gonna stay here. Try to sneak back to the house. Grab as many humans as you can. <laughs> All right, first kill. I am so glad you picked me up. Not bad, alien. Not bad at all. Let's head to that base. Okay, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but we gotta go back to that base, get in there, and take their warp driver or, or whole planet's gonna die. Well, here you go. It's a G3 warp base. Okay, let's just clean house and warp out of here. I don't want to because you're about to go straight down. We gotta just get in there and get that warp drive, and then we can escape, and then we regroup and figure this out. Nice! You, you, you know, you had to kill them, right? It was either them or you, and me as well, and, and I, I, I would prefer to live. You know, and I have a voice here. I have a choice in this.
Oh, fuck, this base is blocked too. Maybe that one that was really obviously like laid out perfectly, like right in the dead center for you to go to. Maybe that's the one we gotta go to, you know? Did you ever think of that? Okay, the warp drive should be at the top. That's where it always is in shit like this. Just keep going. Keep going up to the top. You called? I'm gonna give you the old reverse engineer rewind. Now grab the warp drive. We'll use this to warp the hell off this doomed planet. Sorry, no offense. I don't mean to upset you, but yes, your planet is doomed right now. Did you just warp our entire house to another planet? Yeah, keep up. We'll be safe here. Now take me outside. Whoa, whoa. You're just going to leave me here in, in what, space? Are we are we in space? Yeah, sorry. I know you're a bit shaken up, but you'll be fine. It's better than getting enslaved by the G3. Trust me. I guess that's true. How the hell are we going to get back to Earth? Uh, we can't. That was a one-way trip. We don't have the coordinates to your planet. Then what about our parents and everyone else? Look, we left because we're trying to save them. That, that, that's why we need Gene. So, so can we please go find him? You're going out there into space? Yeah, welcome to fucking space. So this is Blim City. Not not bad, huh? I don't know how we're gonna find Gene though. Let's just ask around. There's all kinds of aliens out here. Let's just let's just ask. He he is famous.
Hey, well, don't shoot the hook bug. That's probably somebody's pet. Listen, we're gonna have to talk to some of these aliens if we expect to find Gene. Somebody around here's got to know where Gene Saruthian is. This is let's just keep asking. Would you chill out? They don't need to die. Listen, I know you're in a big new alien city and it's very exciting, I, I, I get it. But we really gotta stay focused and find Jean. can't shoot these open you, you gotta have something cut them open you know Authorized ward detected. Blem City Plaza is under temporary lockdown. Shit, I guess that's our fault, huh? Let's just try looking around here for now. Hey, we're looking for Gene Zaruthi and the bounty hunter. Any idea where he might be? Who? N no. Do you know how many freaking people live here? And you expect me to know this this guy? No. Hell no, of course not. Okay, not everyone's gonna be helpful. Okay, this isn't going so well, but let's keep asking around. We'll find something, I, I swear. We're looking for Gene Saruthian. I'm not sure. Maybe you could help? Oh, I wish I knew where he was. He owes me like 300 pesos. Huh. That doesn't sound like Gene Saruthian to me. Excuse me. Do you have any idea where Gene Saruthian is? What? That's my name. I'm Gene Saruthian. But why would you... Oh, wait. You're probably thinking of the famous bounty hunter with the same name as me. Sorry. I'm just some loser accountant. Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay. 
Where the hell is he? Blimp City's always been his headquarters, you know? We can't give up. Hey, uh, excuse me, does the bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian live around here? The bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian? <laughs> uh, you must be confused. Uh, uh, please go. What did you mean by that? Sorry, shot in the dark here, but are you familiar with the Gene Zaruthian? Hmm? Oh yeah, he's, he's homeless. He's sleeping on a bench right nearby. I just walked past him earlier. I'm really glad I could be so helpful. What? Really? Uh, okay, well, thank you so much. Shit, he's homeless? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he's just... Oh, over there, on that billboard. That's Gene Zaruthian. Strong and heroic. Just gotta keep an eye out for a guy that looks just like that. That's him. You know what, I bet the guy on the bench isn't Gene. It just doesn't really make sense to me. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I was thinking you'd have like a big bounty hunting office, you know, we could visit and, you know, a bunch of cool bounty related things in there. Uh, maybe a receptionist. We can't open those yet, we're, we're gonna need something sharp. All right, come on, let's go find the guy on the bench. I, I, I don't think it's Gene, but it's our only lead. Yeah, we can't get inside that lug locks without something really sharp. Going down in the slump. Yeah, this is a maintenance only shaft, so scram! Stop it, we're not killing this one! over there. There's usually some good loot inside, but we need some kind of sharp device to open it. Authorized warp detected. Blend City Plaza is under temporary lockdown. Hey, well, don't shoot the hook bug. That's probably somebody's pet. Hey, well, don't shoot the hook bug. That's 
probably somebody's pet. Get away! They'll take my shit! Oh my god! I it can't be! What do you want? Y you're not the famous bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian, are you? Who's asking? You're you're really Gene. Yeah, I'm really Gene. That's me, like on the ads. Disappointed? Guess how I feel. Uh, okay, well, whoopsies. Huh. We were gonna ask for your help fighting the G3 cartel, but... Kid, do I look like I can help anyone? I just got evicted. I don't even have a goddamn home! Can, can you point us in the direction of, you know, a, a, a bounty hunter friend that's still working, you know, still has their legs? Ho, 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 ho. Look at that nice house. God damn. Where'd that come from? That's a great fucking house. You see that house? Huh? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, th that's this hairy alien's house, the one holding me. God damn. Can't stop looking at that beautiful house. Uh, yeah, okay. The gears are turning. Maybe I can help you. You can? Uh, but you just said... Maybe the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I said I'd help you fight the... Who, who'd you say? The, the G3 cartel? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on, that's crazy, but... Okay, well, whatever, whatever. Yeah, 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 sure. We'll, we'll kill them all. Easy. <laughs> I've got a fully operational bounty suit in my cart over there. Really? Well, that's, that's convenient. Yeah, I can turn that hairy kid of yours into a true blue bounty hunter. But if they die... I want the house. That's the trade. Are you sure? I, I don't think they've even fired a gun before today. And and wait, wait you, you want the house in return? Yeah. This is a great deal for you. I mean, you get all my old bounty hunter shit and I might get a house. I, I don't know. Enough talking. J just be a gun for a second. You, hairy kid, put on the suit. See how you feel. Then make a decision, yeah? I can always just pawn this shit off. Okay, g go ahead. Try it on. What choice do we have? Bounty. All right, I guess we'll give it a shot, but I, I don't know about this. Ah, oh, yeah, shit. It's still in trial mode. I pawned off the activation license. The ticket should be in one of your pockets. Some loose change, too. Should be enough. Take that down to Mr. Keep's pawn shop, and he'll get you all set up. The suit will help you get there. Hey there, Gene Zaruthian. It's me, Sudo, your helpful bounty hunting assistant. Before I enable mobility, I just need to make sure your info scanner is online. Can you go ahead and give the area a quick scan for me? Okay, perfect. Great job. I've identified your current objective. Head on down to Mr. Keep's pawn shop. Can you see the waypoint? Okay, you know, I'm, I'm waiting. Perfecto mundo. Everything is in working order. Mobility unlocked. You are free to move, Gene. All right. I'll get things set up at your house while you're gone. Ooh, oops, sorry about all those pop-ups. I forgot to warn you about that. Um, you can close them with the interact button, but they are going to keep coming back nonstop. Uh, that's just going to keep happening until you activate the license. Sorry, you better hurry up. Uh, okay, let's just head to Mr. Keeps, I guess. You you able to see okay? Sorry, I, I didn't expect Gene to be l like that. Whoa, 
What's up, freak? Sure. Greet the customer properly. Welcome to Mr. Keep's dipshit. We're your friendly neighborhood pie shop. Buy something or don't, nobody even cares. Jorb! Oh, so old Zaruthian doesn't feel like pawning his license key anymore. What? Did he win the sweepstakes? Ha! Okay, so you want this license key. But, but it's really nice. I kind of want it for myself. You've got enough useless shit, Dad! Fine, take it! It's yours! Okay, fuck yeah! Activation license accepted. Bounty hunting suit is in perfect working order. Time for an important question. Would you like to keep me on as your permanent in-suit advisor? That was the best choice you could have made. All right, bye-bye now. I'll be back a bunch. Whoa, not bad. It's got your vital readings, armor levels, even my biometrics. Gene really came through, didn't he? I told you he'd be great. Perfect. Just what this galaxy needs. Another good-for-nothing bounty hunter. Out of my star! A friendly reminder that all sales are final! Have a look around. We got some good stuff for sale. But not everything. Some of it is mine! Jorb, now I know I hate to be pushy, but can you get your grubby hands off that phone and do some inventory before the end of the day? That is Tristan. Oh, well, you know, I told your mom I'd make sure you took this job seriously. That's nice, Pop. Come on, Jorb. You're embarrassing me in front of the customer. Oh, yeah? You think that's embarrassing? Hey, you, guess what? My dad over there won an award for having the world's smallest dick in space. Hey, come on now. It's true, too. I'm being 100% serious. He's still got the trophy. He keeps it in the back. Well, I happen to be very proud of my tiny little penis and the award I won for it. They even had to invent a new type of microscope to confirm the size. Uh, I got a great idea. Let's just leave the customer alone now, all right, Jorb? Forget I said anything. Jorb, what's wrong with you? Why did your mother do this to you? You can't stop me from being me, Dad. You're grounded. Try me. I'll just listen to porn at max volume until you let me out of my room. And it's not porn you like. Nice try. That wouldn't bother me. No, Jorb, I don't think you're very nice to me. Uh, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Well, it's not fine for me. I'd like to see, just for one second, a little respect out of you for your father. You understand? Yeah, I understand you want that. But maybe you don't understand that I don't have to give it to you. Maybe you don't understand that you're not always going to get exactly what you want. Boo-hoo. You just have to accept that not everyone is going to like you. Sometimes that's a random schlieb on the street. Other times it's me, your own offspring son, who hates your guts and tells everyone at school that you won the award for Galaxy's Highest Penis. I literally tell everyone I know every chance I get. Most of them don't even know who you are. I just... I have no reason to tell them I just do it because I hate you so much and because it's fun for me. Hey, hey, he used to be a really super good boy. I don't know what happened.
uh... Oh, God, I can't believe I'm starting a conversation with Jorb, but, uh, how's school, Jorb? Ain't none of your business, dipshit. Oh, come on now. Is that so wrong that I want to know more about my son's life? Fine, you want to know how school is? You really want to know what your son did today? We had to dissect some baby Swedes in biology class, and I named mine after you, Father. I said, this little Swede is named Mr. Cape, just like my dad, and I'm going to rip him apart with this scalpel. I'm going to take out each organ one by one and lay them all out on a metal tray that's not even comfortable, and I label them all. This is Mr. Keep's heart. This is Mr. Keep's spleen. Stuff like that. And then I'm going to put it all back together and do a little makeshift voodoo doll that looks like you. And I'm going to take it home and flush it down the toilet. And then I did all that. And now the toilet at home is clogged above. I had to call a plumber to clear up the pipes. Just gillions of shit stuck in pipes because it couldn't get past the little Mr. Keep voodoo doll and made all the dead sweet organs. That's what I do at school, Father! Jesus, fuck! Well, that explains why I smelled like shit the other day. Wah, 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 yoy, 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 yoy. Sorry, but... Oh, hey, get your hands off. That's not for sale. Dad, can I clack out early? No, why? Where are you, the cops? I don't owe you an explanation. Yes, you do. I'm your father. All right, bounty hunter. I guess let's head back to the house and check in with Gene. You'll find it. You'll figure it out. Hey, you can run, you know. I don't know if you do that. Try hitting the button on your screen. I, I can't say the name of the button, because I have no fucking clue what kind of controller or keyboard you're using. Nice house you got here. Real ritzy. Way better than my bench. Oh, wow, you really made yourself at home, huh? Oh, there you are. Who's this weirdo, and why is he setting up a fucking huge alien computer in our living room? Okay, first of all, that alien computer is a very expensive and surprisingly operational Bounty 5000. So, uh, you're welcome. A what 5000? Your kid here thinks they're gonna be a big bad bounty hunter. I set them up with some fancy equipment, so they're letting me have the house when they die. Kid? They're not my kid. I'm their sister. How old do you think I am? Listen, hairball, I don't know what kind of alien you are or how fast you age. I'm just making my best guesses here. You were only gone five minutes, and you already told some random alien he could move in with us. That's what you did. Look, I know it's a lot all at once, but we need him to save your species. So, do you think you could put up with him for a bit? Well, yeah, if it's gonna help, sure. I'm sorry, everything I've ever known just got flipped upside down, so I don't know what's weird or not anymore. Hey, I don't like getting up to take shit, so I'm just gonna shit right here in the couch later. I don't have to shit right now, but just a heads up. Like that, was that weird or was that normal? It was weird, right? It was weird. Your mom's nice. Anyway. Come talk to me when you're ready to get down to business. Move it, kid. I'm trying to watch my stories. So what, we just jump into the deep end and start hunting down G3 officers, or, or what? I'm not sure you're ready just yet. I mean, they don't let you fuck the glumpers at glumpies without a level four fuck pass, do they? What? I, I don't know. Well, they don't. Maybe I should send you out on a little test run first, eh? Uh, okay, sure. I've got just the thing. A small-time local gangster by the name of Nine Torg. She took my favorite knife. She's got an operation out in the slums. Maybe you kill her and get my knife back. <laughs> then we'll talk. Maybe take you out to Glumpy's to celebrate. <laughs> 
All right, so we, we just head out to the slums? No, moron. You gotta use the Bounty 5000 to initiate a bounty. That's what I went through all the trouble of setting it up for. Okay, Jesus. Normally, that door would open up a gateway to let you walk right through it. So what do we do? Calm down. The bounty's right here in Blim. You mind just heading out on foot? The slums gateway ain't too far from here. I'll get the Bounty 5000 all fixed up while you're gone. Yeah, sure. All right, l let's go, Bounty Hunter. Bounty hunting, huh? Are you really going to kill people? Actually, we, we've killed a couple people already, you know. And so did you. So soon we forget. Fine, I guess I'll just hang around at home and wait for you to do all your little murders. Are you mad at us or jealous? Uh, jealous? I want to kill evil aliens, too. Go ahead, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Maybe I'll go see what the drinking age is here in space. What are you, confused? This ain't warp science, kid. Go head out to the city, get into the slums, kill Nine Torg, and get my goddamn knife back. Jesus, just go already. I can't fix this thing with you watching me. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's... Fine, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. What? You want me to hold your hand? Kids these days. You kill Nine Torg yet? Go do that. That's what you're supposed to do. Don't forget to get my knife! We're looking for the gateway to the slums, I guess. Look, it shouldn't be too far. Look, listen, just follow the waypoint. That's why you're wearing that fancy suit, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's got the augmented reality thing on it, right? Hello, citizens. I'm Blim City Magistrate Clug Nugman, and I have heard your concerns. poisoned again by Gary the Poisoner, and the mandatory sexual repression chips that we put in our elderly citizens have once again backfired, this time making them far, far hornier than ever. However, there's something plaguing our city far worse than any of those issues. Cold, hard drugs. These figures don't lie. However, things don't have to be this way. As Chancellor, under my five-year plan, all drugs will be eradicated. And that's the Klug Nugman promise. Thanks to our new Keep Blim City Clean initiative, we've managed to keep drugs like Fergals and Space Meth out of the hands of our extremely horny geriatrics. Yeah, we can't get inside that love box without something really sharp. Though they're evil seeds in our fair city, for now, remember, we're all... Hey, uh, Kitka, excuse me, can we get our, uh, we need to make our way into the slums, please? No. Hold on. So you really want to get into the slums, huh? Then settle a little bet for oh, us. Come on, come on. Don't, don't, don't make him answer this, no, man. No, I want to know. It's fine. We'll, we'll help. Okay, great. If you saw us at the bar, which of us would you ask out?
This feels like a trap. I'd, I'd rather not say. Come on, you gotta answer. It's a hypothetical. We know it's not real. Well, you know, you, you know, just give us like your gut instinct. Come on, come on. Don't be afraid. We can take it. I, I guess the red guy. Whoa, seriously? Okay, come on. You, you don't gotta say that just to make him feel better. He's a big boy. He can take it if you think he's way uglier than No, no, me. no. They said me. They picked me, dude. They picked me, not you. They picked me. They said I was hotter, not you. <laughs> well, it's true. Look at you. I'm not a liar, man. I never lied in my life. I look at you and I see Bill. No, well, well, that's not what they said. They said I, they picked me. I, they said I was hotter. I, did you say that? Listen, we're not switching around here. We picked the red guy. That's the direction we're moving in. Thank you. Thank God. Uh, thank you so much for not changing. I really thought you were going to flake on me. No. Thank you. No, fuck you. Change your mind right now. Pick me instead. This is insane. I am so much hotter. You, you need to chill out. All right, they picked me, and that's final. That's a final pick. If you want to throw a fit, do it on your own time. Just let me have this one time, man. Hey, thanks for being honest. Look, don't tell anyone, but you can go through my door anytime you want from now on. I have a little secret. Free passage in and out of the slums. Wow, thank you. you. You have no idea how helpful that is. Well, my door's locked forever. You made an enemy today. You're never, ever gonna get to use my door. Well, you know what? That's fine. I think we handled that as best we could, you know? I've never been topside. Oh, Lord. Oh. It's a top cider. Not interested. Hey, oh my god, I broke my fucking leg coming down that pipe. Be careful. Sorry to hear that. Well, well, <laughs> look what we got here. Fresh meat. Hey there, fresh meat. Welcome to the slums, fresh meat. <laughs> Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Come on, he's just a kid. Don't shoot him. Oh, you don't want to shoot me just because your gun said not to. Just because you're your little gun. Oh, but you look, look how shootable I look. I look so shootable. <laughs> What's wrong, fresh meat? You scared of a little kid? Eh, yeah, I'm a little kid. Look at me. Look at me. Eh, you're scared of me? I'm not shooting a kid. Go ahead. Ah, you shot me. I'm dead. Eh. All right, there. Are you happy now? Well, I, I didn't think we'd be allowed to kill him. Yeah, normally, killing children in games isn't isn't allowed, but he's dead. We killed this kid. Are, are you that happy now? We killed the kid. Shit, we gotta take down these drones. Finally happened. Someone killed my son. Y your son? Yep. The kid up there who always calls everyone fresh meat. We are so sorry. Listen, don't get used to that. We're not killing any more kids. I'm drawing the line, so savor it. Enjoy it. It happened. Tuck it away in the old memory book. No, it's fine. He was 30 years old, so don't feel too bad. 30 years old is still adolescence for our species, but it's not as bad as shooting like a five-year-old or something. So don't worry, you just did regular murder. And I warned him over and over. I said, don't sit up there calling strangers fresh meat or some gun-toting psychopath is gonna shoot you dead in cold blood. And you went and did it. Good for you. Anyway, please, just leave me to mourn. Jesus. Oh, oh 
<laughs> oh, my stupid annoying son. I'll miss him a little bit. I'll miss him a very small amount. You can't pass through here. It's Nine Torg's turn. Jesus, enough with everyone getting in our way. We just want to kill Nine Torg. Yeah, right. You kill Nine Torg. Get lost, shit heel. You're never gonna get to Nine Torg. You have to get through all their trusty foot soldiers first. You think you got a shot at the Nine Torg family? Keep dreaming. So you, you think maybe there's somebody friendly around here who can help? I mean, maybe try using your scanner, uh, uh, you know, on your on your on your suit. Like, sorry, I don't mean to be a backseat driver. I'm just sharing my ideas. Share. I'm just sitting here, fishing away, waiting for someone to come over and ask me stuff. I'm just gonna whistle to myself for a bit now, till someone talks to me. Hello there, friend. Can I help you? Do you know how we can get to Nine Torg? Buddy, all I know is fish, and I barely know fish. But let's just pretend there's a laundromat you can sneak through to get to Sludge Works over there. Are we pretending, or is there really a laundromat? Come on, kid, take the hint. Either we're pretending, or Nine Torg's goons kill me for squealing. Oh, okay, I got it. We're pretending. Oh, Christ, just follow that path along the sludge. Uh, you're a wise old fisherman. Can you tell us a little bit about Nine Torg? Quiet. 
She's got ears everywhere, or antennae, whatever ants be here with. Is she really that dangerous? Come on. I mean, she's just one gang lord. Just one? <laughs> what about the other eight torgs? Wait, so the nine and nine torg is, it's a counter? There's nine torgs? Nine clones, yep. And that's just what's left. There used to be even more of them, but they always kill each other. Fighting for dominance over what? This hellhole? <laughs> This month, nine Torgs in charge. Last month, it was 14 Torg before they killed her. Now, nine Torgs fighting with five Torg. It never ends. Which one do you prefer? Uh, eight Torg is the hottest. So, uh, what, what exactly are you doing out here? What? I'm fishing. You can tell I'm fishing, right? Oh, right. Duh, of course. Of course. Sorry. That, it's, it's very obvious. Yes. So, ha have you caught anything? No. Never have, never will. No fish can live down here in this sludge. If there aren't any fish in there, why are you fishing? What's, what is that? What's going on? Because I'm still working up the courage to drown myself. Yikes. Wow. Okay. TMI, maybe, a little bit. So, uh, how do you like living down here in the slums? It's sort of colorful down here, at least. What? Are you serious? This is one of the worst places anyone can live. You can't see that just by looking at it. It's more sludge than anything else, and the sludge is toxic. Oof, sorry. Yeah, that sludge does look pretty awful. No, the sludge is the best part. It's the quickest way out. Just hop in there, and you got a one-way ticket out of here. Imagine if we didn't have the sludge. Then we'd really be trapped. Anyway, yeah, living here is bad. Hey, thanks for the info, uh, wise fisherman. We'll see you later. Have a good day now. Oh, hey, you want to see a cool party trick I used to do? Aim me at those platforms. Come on, come on. Fuck yeah, I told you. Did you see how fun that was? I call it my glob shot. It comes out of my trick hole. All Gatlians have a different kind of trick hole. My, mine does this. Boy, you are learning a lot today, aren't you? You know? We can't open those yet. We're, we're gonna need something sharp. over there. There's usually some good loot inside, but we need some kind of sharp device to open it. You're gonna need something like a knife to open those. Oh great, yeah, let's go into the toxic shit. It's another trick up my little slimy sleeve. Try hitting him with my glob shot. Take your time and aim right. You're gonna kill us now, aren't you? Oh, God, please don't. Don't do that. Don't shoot a glob of your goop at us and knock us into the sludge or anything like that. Please hey, don't. come on. You know what to do, pal. Come on. You know exactly what to do. You know what Poppy likes. Hey, come on. Now, don't kill us. You're really strong. You don't have... 
Antonio shoot at <laughs> Perfect shot! You fucking nailed it! How sick was that? Whew, okay. Gonna recharge. It doesn't take too long, but it's a little longer when there's enemies nearby, you know? My, my, my body gets too tense. It's, it's like trying to piss when someone's watching, you know? He was die clean only. All right, this has to be the way to nine torque. L let's keep moving. Hey, careful with the merchants. Oh, hold up a bit. Gotta let's listen. Line up and everything. They're gonna be here any minute. Just, just patient. Oi, fuck you! I'm sick of this. I want to tear through someone's guts. Oh, I think they're talking about Jean's knife. Ah, fuck you! Got it, freak. We've had enough of your... Yeah! Huh? Who's there? Who are you? Uh, hey! Hello there, friends! Oh, I, I think it's the buyer. Hey, are you the buyer? Uh, yeah, we're here to, uh, buy, buy a knife? You guys are selling a knife, yeah? Oh, perfect. You're really late. We were starting to get worried. Just go with it. No shooting. All right, here's the product. A genuine talking knife. I gotta be honest with you, he's a real piece of shit. He's extremely violent. He basically only talks about wanting to kill people in very disturbing ways. Fuck you, I'm gonna carve out your anal cavity. Gonna make it three times as big. Your shit's just gonna drop right out of there. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, great. Go ahead. Feel free to inspect it. Try him out. See how he feels in your hand. Yeah, yeah, fucking free me. Let's go. Let's go psycho on these fuckers. Oh, fuck yeah. Thank you! Pleased to meet you! I'm Knifey! Now use me, use me! Let me fucking stop these cocksucking ants! Oh, just a reminder, uh, don't do anything crazy when you're holding the knife. Just, like, look at it, see if you like it, put it back. Yeah, thank you. What the fuck are you waiting for? Excuse me, come on, stop, stop, stop! Oh, 
Fuck yes, finally! You have no idea how long I've been thinking about this! You the love of the fuck yes! More, more, I need more stabbing! Hey you, listen, point me at your raw fleshy little tummy and jab me right into there. Let's get all those guts torn up. Let's see that fucking red goop spill out. I can't stop now! Oh, uh, that's a pass for us. Is this really the knife Gene was talking about? Gene? Did you just say Gene? Okay, change of plans. Bring me to Gene. So I can fucking decapitate him! Wait, what? Why? He sent us to rescue you! Oh, that's rich. There's no way I'm forgiving him, though, for leaving me with that fucking Nine Torg. He's dead to me! Huh? You know Nine Torg? We're trying to kill her! Oh, perfect! Finally, we're on the same page! Let's kill Nine Torg, then Gene! Okay, definitely Nine Torg, but l l let's put a pin in the, the whole Gene thing. H how do we get out of here? With my tether ability! I'm more than just a knife, you racist! I can tether too! Look up and latch on! Fucking cool, right? You gotta use me to swing across this sludge. Oh, fuck yeah! Not as good as stabbing, but still pretty good. Well, all right. Where, where to next? The sludge works processing plant. Nine Torg was talking about some traitor she had to deal with. Probably another one of her clones. Five Torg or six Torg or whatever. I don't know. There's too many now. There's too many Torgs. How many clones are there? Who the fuck cares? Stop thinking so hard and just look for the big sludge works sign. I want to stab somebody. Oh, lug locks. Use me. We can open those fuckers up real good. And there's loot inside for you too. Win-win. Yes. So you uh, mentioned that Gene gave you to Nine Torg? Gabe? Try gamble me away in a game of space poker? That sack of shit? Can't wait to stab all three of his fucking eyes. Even the wonky one. Especially the wonky one. Hate that one. Gene, didn't he used to be a hero? Yeah, he used to be. Hard to tell these days, right? Towards the end, the only thing I was cutting for him was sandwiches. Not even the good ones. Peanut butter sandwiches. And no fucking jelly. Not even like ham or anything good. What's this Nine Torg character's deal anyway? She's the current matriarch of the Torg family. I say current because they're always killing each other for the top spot. You know how it is with clones. Run. Oh, hey, there's some Gatorol. That, 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 that'll fill me back up. Whoa! Thank Jesus. Okay, feed me that Gatorol, baby. Come on, put it in my little mouth. Feed me the Gatorol. What's wrong with you? Don't you know how, well, uh, don't you know how important that is? Oh, mamma mia. That's the stuff.
ledge works. Nine Torch should be here. Shot might be helpful, you know. Did you disappear, August? Hey, can you come back? The ant killer is Let's brought it this way. Come on, kill. Kill, yes, yes, kill, kill, murder. Something, but hey, good work, team. Let's go get nine torch. Torg talking? Fuck off! I've always said you were the worst Torg! You know, Seven Torg said the same thing. Right before I killed her. Damn you! And you're next. You got this! Oh, slice in the fucking gap. I'll cut their fucking. 
fucking heads off. Oh, fucking I'll rip their limbs off. Fucking do everything. Oh, fucking cut right into them. Oh, fucking asshole off and eat it. Bounty Hunter, I feel pretty good. I, I really didn't time for what time to carve out a piece of it. I'm thinking we go with a full slab of thigh meat, but since I'll let you pick. Jesus, are you are you kidding? What kind of bounty hunters don't know that you've got to bring back proof of the kill to get paid? Oh god. Oh, don't be such a goddamn baby. I'll do all the messy work. Just go up to a corpse and let me go wild. 
Oh god, I can't look. I can't. I can't. Oh fuck! Hell, she's a gusher. Could we have just taken like a fingernail, some spit, uh, maybe a blood sample? Yeah, sure, could have, I guess. Hey, I'm Five Torg. Thank you for killing my evil clone. I don't mind if you mutilate her corpse, really. It's fine. You did such a good job. That was like off the hook. You're not gonna take over and end up being just as evil as Nine Torg, right? Oh, uh -huh. don't worry. Things are gonna be a lot different around here. So, no more crime then? Oh, not that different then. Technically, all of us Torgs are evil clones, so I'm still gonna do a bunch of crime. But we're cool. Huh. Far as I'm concerned, you're a friend of the Torg family and welcome here anytime. An honorary Torg. You can be 10 Torg. Now, if you'll excuse me, my day just became very full. Are you gonna be okay if we just kind of leave you hanging up there? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I can get down just fine. Hanging from ropes feels nice for my species. Hey, it's good for our backs. I'm, I'm actually the one who put myself here. Thanks for the rescue. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just gonna hang here for a bit. Yeah, next time you come back, I'll be off being really busy running everything, and, you know, doing stuff, cause, yeah. Hey, you know, that was some pretty solid bounty hunting back there. I mean, I mean don't don't get too cocky about it or anything, but it, it was pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. That was some good killing. And I'm somewhat of a killing expert, actually. I can't wait to see Gene's face when he sees we pulled this off. Let's head back up through the slums tunnel. Hey, you thought you beat all the torps, huh? Well, you'll never be me! Just one of them? Jeez, I don't know why that guy even bothered attacking us. I almost feel bad. Grab some of that and feed it to me. It powers me back up. Exploring, but whenever you're ready, we just got to go through the tunnel that we ca came here in. You know that tunnel? Christopher Walken? Hey, I'm walking here. This is New York City. Yeah, pretty good, right? Ah, oh, the translator micro. So we're thinking about two different people, but same kind of thing, same kind of idea.
for ya. Fuck yeah, make sure to grab that gag roll though. Feed it to me. Trust me, it's helpful. It, 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 it re, re, uh, my glob shot. Oh, my God. 